Hi everyone, Kat Ogar here of Infant Health and Wellness and I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about this time of year if you're living north of the equator. Um, it's winter for us and typically this is a time of year where you want to be slowing things down. You want to hibernate like a bear. It seems uh, impossible given everybody's busy schedule but here's the thing, springtime's coming, yay. We've had already a long winter and we're only halfway through it. And what happens in springtime, according to the principles of traditional Chinese medicine, is that plants will try to come up from the soil. They're going to push up through that hard earth that's been, um, you know, kind of tamped down and frozen over for a couple of months now. And it needs a lot of energy. So that's why they're dormant. That's why those things tend to stay um, in the ground, quiet, resting. And we're in the same, um, you know, we should be in the same mindset. We should be getting good rest, good quality sleep, at least eight hours. I know that sounds almost impossible given all the things that you probably have on your plate. But here's the thing. Right now we're in the kidney energy. And so the energy associated with the kidneys tends to be, like I mentioned, restfulness. And we're going into springtime in a couple of months, so that will be the liver energy. And so liver energy is really robust, and it's about planning and execution and moving forward. And you can't do that if you're using liver energy during the kidney season, which is what a lot of us do, myself included. We tend to um, keep a pretty busy schedule. We get limited amounts of sleep. Sometimes the sleep's not great quality. And then that makes us crave sugar and all kinds of foods like crunchy salty things in order to keep the energy levels up. You know, our body is demanding energy to keep moving. So our diet falls off on top of all that. So I just wanna put this out there for you so that you can kind of see things from a natural perspective, a seasonal perspective, where you will want to find rest when you can. Even if it's just sitting quietly for five or 10 minutes, there's a bunch of apps out there that you can get for like five minute meditations, if that works for you, guided meditations, or YouTube, any of those things. I'm sure uh, you could find those um, types of things that will settle the mind down, kind of quiet it down. There's also restful exercise like yoga and Tai Chi. Those types of things are very restful at this time of year. And then, be sure to be eating um, or incorporating some grounding foods into your diet. So any root vegetables would be really helpful right now so that you can get yourself grounded. Um, this is not really the time of year that you want to be having a ton of smoothies and um, salads uh, if, you're, if you're trying to keep in tune with the seasonal eating. It's not to say don't have a smoothie or don't have a salad, but don't make that your mainstay. Your body wants warm, comforting, grounding foods right now. Those things are coming, the salads, the, um, the colder drinks, those types of things for when the warm, warmer weather comes to cool the body down. Right now we want to warm the body up. So I just thought I'd put that out there because I was telling someone about it the other day and they said, hey, you should put that out on um, you know, a little video clip, let people know um, that mindset. So sharing that with you based on traditional Chinese medicine, we're in the season of the kidney and bladder. Doesn't mean there's anything wrong with those systems um, or I should say those organs themselves. It's just that they have energetic um, channels in our body that are, this is their time of activity. So if you want more information around stuff like that, feel free to reach out to me on any of the social media platforms or give me a jingle. Just give me a call. Um, and also feel free to go to my website, yourinfinitewellness.com, and uh, there's lots of great information on there. Great. Uh, thanks so much for sticking with me, and I hope you have a really wonderful day. Bye.